Hey guys, you are about to watch a compilation of the best family sketches we've ever done on Studio C. So. Family, isn't it about time? I just thought of that. Oh my gosh, Jason. Just, I just came up with just, that. Just watch it. Thank you everyone for joining us for the 25th annual Family Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, now, every Christmas, we have added a new family tradition, so we are quite excited about tonight. Oh, that reminds me, it's 7.15, you know what that means. Everyone take out your mistletoe and kiss the person sitting next to you. Okay, don't mind if I do. Hey, uh, could we maybe skip the mistletoe tradition this year? What did you say? <laughs> I mean, this was cute like 20 years ago when half of us were little kids, but I mean, we're full grown adults now. Do you guys really feel comfortable kissing extended family members? Or? Don't question tradition now. Give your Aunt Marjorie some sugar. No, no, no. Ew, 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 no. Why are you making this so awkward, Jason? I'm making things awkward? <laughs> what about Aunt Marjorie? She's been staring at me creepily all night. Also a tradition. No! <laughs> Jason, you just have to learn to accept things like this. <laughs> See how sweet that is. Uh, yeah, it would be sweet if they weren't second cousins who suspiciously sit next to each other every Christmas Eve. So I suppose you would like it if we had no traditions. No, no. no I'm just saying it would be nice if we could consider cutting some of them. All right, I'm sorry, Grandpa, but Jason doesn't want you to read the Christmas story this year. Oh, I understand. I'd rather Jason be comfortable than do the one thing a year that gives me joy and purpose. <laughs> No, 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 Grandpa, you can read the Christmas story. That's a great tradition. That's the spirit. Go ahead, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, oh, I almost forgot tradition. Stephen, come oh. sit on Grandpa's lap. <laughs> oh! See, this is what I'm talking about. We're not five anymore. Full-grown adults should not be sitting on the elderly. Nonsense, <laughs> it's tradition. Adam, get on up Do here. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The poor man is in agony, guys. No, these are tears of joy. <laughs> Come on, kids, there's plenty of room for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, get over here. Get ready for me. Get ready for me. Trust the night before. Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa, oh my goodness, you guys, he's 97. Get off of him. Get off. Oh! <laughs> Our stupid traditions killed Grandpa! He died the way he wanted. I don't think his ideal death was being smothered by a thousand pounds of human flesh. At least we were all by his side. You were all on his face! You know, I bet Grandpa would have survived had Jason participated. Yeah, Jason's selfish pride broke his heart. No, your fat bodies broke his spleen! <laughs> All right, you want to get rid of some traditions? Then we will forego the giving of Christmas pajamas. Good! Those pajamas are ridiculous! And we will replace it with Christmas Speedos! <laughs> Okay, Max, I need you to put the game away. Time for a Durfee family meeting. <laughs> so how are things going, Max? Fine, I guess. Oh, that's great, sweetheart. Uh, we wanted to do things a little differently from our regular family meetings. Today we want to do a performance review. Okay, that sounds serious. Oh no, it's just a formality. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let us start with the report card. Okay. Oh my. Oh wow, yeah. Is that? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know it was possible to fail study hall. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Mrs. Jones hates me. Yeah, and uh, look at his performance at home. So, so that's how that got broken. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> using the family printer for personal reasons—that's an infraction. Yeah. Honey, I think we know what we need to do. Yes. Am I grounded or something? Oh uh, no, we're going to let you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? This family is headed in a new direction. And unfortunately, you're not going to be a part of it. I don't understand. When we birthed you into this family, we saw potential. And you were really cute, so you had a lot of value. You were goal-oriented and on a trajectory to succeed. I mean, right here you wrote, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. <laughs> I mean, we were so excited, we sent out formal announcements at Christmas time. Uh, where are you on those goals? <laughs> I guess I haven't been working towards that specifically. Yeah, you haven't really been working towards anything, okay? Uh, your cuteness. Your cuteness has plateaued, mm -hmm. and your output has exponentially decreased. Yes, and uh, in the most recent consumer reports with the four grandparents, you were ranked last in the favorite polls. I don't who cares about them? You guys still like me, right? Let's keep it professional, Mr. Durfee. <laughs> Mr. Durfee? Yeah, and uh, you know, it isn't just that. I mean, the economy hasn't been so nice either. And you're growing. There's no getting around that. You've been eating more, and that means it's been costing more. Plus, there are a lot of redundancies in our organization, and we just can't afford to pay you the increase in allowance for the same amount of work your sister will do for three-fourths the salary. <laughs> yes. I mean, financially, it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I, I could get a job. <laughs> With your grades? You really are stupid. <laughs> okay. I, what about the family memories? The Christmas parties? Well, that's true, but as I recall it, the last Christmas party, you were rather unpleasant and completely ignored your Aunt Susan. Well, she was trying to make me wear that stupid sweater she made me. Hey, if there are any interpersonal conflicts, you'll need to take that up with HR. Your HR! Well, I guess that's settled then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dad, who's gonna go camping with you and watch the sports games with you? Well, frankly, I've never really cared for those things. No, no. It's just something we did to keep up morale. Oh, I can't. But let, let, let's put it this way. This is an opportunity for you to reinvent yourself. So spread your wings and fly. I don't know what to say. Well, you don't need to say anything. We are, however, prepared to offer you some letters of recommendation. There you go. You know, the Johnson family just had a kid move off to college, so there's an opening there. We'll put in a good word for you. And your 401k will kick in in about 50 years. We've prepared a severance package consisting of two months allowance and an Xbox Live subscription. Your sister Jennifer will help you clean out your belongings. Guys, I'm like 15 years old. And that's the silver lining. You have your whole life ahead of you. It was nice being your sister. Like, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Durfee. <laughs> hey, in three months, you'll be glad this happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> oh. Oh. You mean none of that was true? Oh, no, dear. Oh, no. Oh, I'm glad everything's okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, everything's not okay. Your dog died. Yeah. Oh. We just did this to soften the blow. I'm less sad than I thought I'd be. You're welcome. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what life on a farm is like, you're not alone. Okay, maybe you're alone in life, but other people wonder about farms is what I mean. Well, then this story is for you. Mr. Smith was a farmer because he liked having lots of furry little friends and then killing them and eating them. His wife, Mrs. Smith, had only an eighth grade education, which wasn't much good since she didn't do grades one through seven. But she owned her own pitchfork, so, yep. The Smiths lived in Nebraska, on purpose. They also had two kids, not on purpose. Johnny Smith was once a good boy, but he became a teenager and got into some weird stuff, like puberty. Now he and his friends hang out behind the school, squeaking their voices and doing acne. Martha May was a girl. Together, they all lived on the Smith farm. 
which Grandpa Smith had bought. Grandpa Smith died. Because that's also what bought the farm means. But the farm life was a happy one, and so things went until one day, things changed. Barnaby, you trying to steal my farm again? Not necessarily. Okay, come in. Barnaby and Mr. Smith had been brothers ever since they were kids. But when Mr. Smith turned farmer, Barnaby became a pharmacist, because he thought that those were the same thing. So Mr. Smith got the farm, much to Barnaby's chagrin. Am I in time for supper? Indeed you are. Martha May Smith, Johnny Smith, supper time. Johnny didn't have a middle name, because they couldn't afford one. And if he did, he would have sold it for deodorant money. He had a problem. Uncle Barnaby, I can't shake the feeling that you're trying to steal the farm. Maybe because that's what he does literally every time, said Martha May, the girl. Well, to make you all feel better, let's drink a toast. Except I ain't thirsty, so just you all. He poured from a special flask. All right now, drink up. They tried to drink, but the liquid had melted their cups. Time for plan B. What did you say? I said, time for plan C. Oh, okay. After dinner, they all went to bed, except Johnny snuck out back to shave his upper lip. That night, Grandpa Smith came to Mr. Smith in a dream. Well, your evil brother Barnaby. Why? Because he's going to steal the farm, you nincompoop. This was news to Mr. Smith, just like it was every time. He wants to tear out the corn and plant prescription meds. Because he thinks a pharmacist is a farmer. Well, what do I do? Well, he make a bunch of hotcakes. Oh, oh. Dream Grandpa died suddenly, and Mr. Smith woke up in a cold sweat. It was Mrs. Smith's sweat. Hey, sweetie. He couldn't help thinking Barnaby was after the farm or something. He was nervous the whole morning. Nervous when he read the paper. Nervous when he cooked breakfast. Nervous when he signed away the deed to the land. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Papa, you done lost the farm! We've been swindled! I'ma take this farm and grow some prescription drugs. Ritalin, Adderall, Benadryl, or oh, make a fortune. Farmers ain't supposed to make money. You get, brother. About time y'all left Nebraska. <gasps> they love Nebraska for lots of reasons. Everyone! But the biggest one was bad judgment. Get that deed! No, sir! Barnaby started throwing rocks. The first rock killed Grandpa again. The second rock hit Johnny, who was experimenting with growth spurts. The third rock was actually the deed. And so the Smiths were saved by Deus Ex Machina. And they lived happily ever after. Unless this video is popular on YouTube. Then they'll have more problems in a sequel. The end. My dear family, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye on things, but as I lie here at death's door, all our differences seem so silly to me now. I want you to know that I love each of you very much. Dad, I don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it. Last year when your credit card was stolen, it was me. I took it to buy that Mercedes. I'm sorry. I know. I staged the whole thing, and now I have your confession. <laughs> I'm actually perfectly healthy. This was my clever ruse to capture you in your lies. <laughs> clever, old man. But not clever enough, I'm afraid. The joke, in fact, is on you. You see, I am dying. I've only been given six months to live. I didn't want to say anything until after we had mourned your passing, but it seems that you find death to be nothing but a tool to use for vengeance. I hope you're happy. Matt, I don't know what to say. Listen, when your Mercedes was stolen, I was the one who took it. 
I needed to settle a debt with a man named Jose Delgado, a powerful crime lord. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you will be. Oh, sister dear, only a fool would fall for the same con twice in a row. Oh. Well, I'm truly surprised, Matt. You played me well. Not that it matters, because I am dying. Oh, please, you can't possibly... This is my doctor. And a sworn affidavit that states I will be dead within the month. I've already had my tombstone engraved. You two should be ashamed of yourselves pretending to be dying when here my little girl is about to leave us. Oh, Mallory, forgive me. I was the one who put the bomb in the trunk of the Mercedes which killed Jose Delgado. <laughs> It's my fault his family now seeks you for revenge. I knew it was you. This man is actually a taco vendor. And this tombstone is made of candy. Thank you, Mother. It's as much as I deserve. Not that it matters anymore. Oh, here we go. I don't expect any of you to believe me. Not after all of this. But, um, it doesn't change the fact that I've been ill for some time. I don't expect I'll live to see the next week. Mom, this isn't gonna work. We're not idiots. <laughs> I know you're not. I raised such clever children. <laughs> Knock it off, Mom. Just look at us all. The stealing and the lies. I let you down, didn't I? I was never there for you enough. Honey, we're not buying this, right, kids? I've been a poor excuse for a mother. Oh, no, Mom, it's not your fault. Oh, he's right. If anyone's to blame here, it's me. For 20 years, I've been the right-hand man of the Delgado family. I put this on all of us because I wanted to take over the crime ring. Huh. And now I have the proof. Thank you, sweetheart. So to be clear, no one is actually dying? No, I ran a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I suggest that we never speak of this night again. If the Delgados hear any part of the story, you know what will happen to each of us. I know exactly what will happen. For I am Jose Delgado! Impossible! I thought you were dead! No, I'm afraid I am very much alive. But sadly, I only have a few more days to live. <laughs> This story happens in a horrible place where it's always Nebraska, but never Christmas. Nebraska. This is Mr. Smith. It's his birthday, so he's sending out invitations. And this is his son, Johnny. It's also his birthday. In fact, it's the whole family's birthday because the county hospital is open one day a year. And you gotta get the timing just right. This is Mr. Smith's daughter, Martha May and his wife, Mrs. Smith. She can't talk because she was jinxed as a child. Jinx. Who are you inviting to the party, Pa? My brothers. But Pa, they're evil. They always try to kill us and steal the farm. They are your kin, and it's their birthday too. But Pa. Not one more word, Martha May. You're in enough trouble already. Martha May had recently become a Democrat, which broke her father's heart and Nebraskan law. Now, where was I? Greetings, brother. We're here to... <clears throat> not kill you. Now, what I tell you? Come on in! Mr. Smith's brothers had all tried to become farmers, but missed. Pharmacist. 
Ant Farm Cellar, Red Sox Farm Team, La Farm. So they've all been jealous of him ever since he got the farm and the girl, the only girl in Nebraska. Well, brother, we've just been dying to see you all. Yes, the wait has been killing us. Now we're getting all choked up. We are going to murder you. I don't know that expression. Uh, so, brother, I understand that your offspring has brought shame upon the farm, mingling with liberals and whatnot. I bear no blame for that. Martha May is only a Democrat because Mrs. Smith and I carry the recessive gene. And because times are a-changing! Oh, hush. Nebraska ain't even got any Democrats on the ballot. But if there were, she would have voted for them if she were old enough to vote. And women could vote. Well, uh, we should all go wash up before eating. All right, boys, here's the plan. I'll poison them with these pills. Then I'll hit them with my bat. And once they're dead, I'll sue them. <laughs> Y'all need some ants? No one needs your ants. Now it's settled then. Today we kill them all and the farm will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to say something. What is it, girl? What's wrong? I know. Text it to me. <gasps> Martha May was right. Except about global warming. Family, defend this bar. Mr. Smith had captured his three brothers. The farm was secure. Martha May, your liberal cynicism saved our lives today. What do you intend to do with us? We don't want the farm, we just want the money. That's what this is all about? Well, heck, you can have my subsidy checks. I don't cash them because money takes all the fun out of farming. So the Smiths lived happily ever after and the Smith brothers were once again rewarded for bad behavior. There were no lasting consequences whatsoever. The end. Wow, this place is gorgeous. It is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. Hey, we should take a family photo. Oh, good Come idea. Oh, That's a good uh, spot. Excuse me, sir. Come here. Yes, uh, would you mind taking a family photo? Uh, no problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Sure, right. sure. Come on, girls. All right. Here we Everyone, go. Everyone, say cheeseburger on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Oh, uh, I think you caught me saying burger. Kind of an ugly sound. It's so. fine. It's uh, fine. Do you mind taking one more photo? It's not that big of a deal. Look, honey, I didn't travel all the way to London to have a picture of me making the most unflattering sound in the English language, okay? okay. All right. Sure, sure, of course. All right. Okay, everyone. Double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. Okay. Uh, I must have not made myself clear. Could you choose a different word besides burger? Ah. Ah. Let's try a few then. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, Thank you everyone. Say okay. what? What? Sweetheart, shut up. <laughs> Moist. No. Moist. Fungal. Fungal. Try again. Leakage. Leakage. These are everyone's least favorite word. Oh, I've got it. Everyone say, Fertler for Hammer Fig Newton Merpine. <laughs> okay. You are done, sir. Honey, just chill out. Why would you have us say that? And why would you guys say that? He told us to. Oh, so if he jumps, tells you to jump off a cliff, you're gonna say, Ferna, Ferna, Shitta, Ferna, Ferna. Hey, you are overreacting. All right, look, sir. All you have to do is hold up the camera yes. and push a button. And all you guys have to do is sit there and smile. Uh, oh, actually, the uh, fungal one turned out pretty good, so. <laughs> Great. All right, sorry. Cheers. Thanks, <laughs> Anne. Son, could you come in here for a moment? 
Yeah, what's up? Yeah, have a seat. <laughs> uh, uh, Stacy, your mother and I know that you've probably been wondering why you look different from the rest of the family. <laughs> Dad, Mom, I'm 18 years old. I put it together a long time ago. Stacy, you're not adopted. I... <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know if you guys are trying to spare my feelings or whatever, but have you seen our family pictures? I mean, <laughs> stop trying to protect me. We're not. We're telling you, you're not adopted. You were, however, switched at birth. Yes. What? <laughs> when you were born, there was a bit of a mix-up at the hospital. So... Did the doctors just give you the wrong baby? Not exactly. I was, I was walking out of the hospital and I bumped into this beautiful woman and we both dropped our babies. <laughs> we had a good laugh over that. Um, and uh, when we picked you two back up, we must have switched you. <laughs> Oopsies. How did no one notice anything different? We only had daughters until you came along. <laughs> we were a little confused, but we figured, well, he's a boy. He's not gonna be just like his sisters. Some things are gonna be different. Not my skin color! I know this comes as a shock, but if it makes you feel any better, your biological mother reached out to us as soon as she realized there'd been a mix-up. When did she realize it? This morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did no one put this together? I put it together when I was four! Are you saying we're stupid? Yes! <laughs> you make some fair points. Oh. Okay, okay. I did not expect the conversation to go this way. But even though you're not my biological parents, which should be obvious, you're still my mom and dad. Oh, Stacy, Pacey, we love you! <laughs> my boy! Oh, that must be your biological parents. Well, we invited them over for dinner. Son. <laughs> okay, guys, what do you want to do now? Nothing. That's the best part of Thanksgiving. No, let's do something. Let's go around the room and say what we're grateful for. Oh. I would be grateful if I didn't have to say what I was grateful for. Great. Who wants to go next? <gasps> you tricked me. What have you done? I'll go. I'm grateful to have such good friends and that we can all be together for the holidays. Oh, oh that's You're nice, Dad. Thank you. Well. Whitney, why don't you go? Let's go around a circle. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, I guess um, I'm really grateful for my boyfriend, Adam. Oh. He's really sweet, and I'm just the luckiest girl to have him. Oh, <laughs> oh, <that's cute>. <laughs> well, I am grateful for the last Hunger Games movie. Oh. Did not, yeah. did yeah. not disappoint. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, well, oh, uh, wait, uh, Mal, wait a second. I, I don't think Adam's done. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> How could I forget, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also grateful for Natalie's famous chocolate cream pie. Yeah. Oh, so good. Good. Mm. <laughs> I guess I'm... He's not done, Mallory. <laughs> Whoa, cool it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Adam, is there anything else you would like to express gratitude for? Um, I am also grateful for the big game today. Uh, you hate football. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> really? You couldn't think of anything else? Puppies. And? Uh, sunshine. And? The, um, dry erase markers. Adam, I think that we- ah, No helping! <laughs> okay, <clears throat> how about I go again? I don't think that's allowed. Ah, just... Adam, uh -huh. I am thankful for my sweet Thoughtful, amazing boyfriend, Adam. Thank you. <laughs> now, what are you grateful for? I can't really talk with your hands like this. What are you grateful for, Adam? I'm grateful I'm not Adam. <laughs> oh, don't speak too quickly, Stephen. <laughs> Adam, my sweetest, my dearest, my love. <laughs> yeah, I've already said 16. Then say a you lovely man, say it! <laughs>
No! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, oh. it's okay. It's just a brain fart. Uh, uh, uh. I am so, so thankful for Whitney's mom who made me this sweater. It's really nice. That's nice. Um. Yeah, where? We're over, Adam! <laughs> Adam, go after her! Are you kidding me? I've been trying to get her to break up with me all year. <laughs> uh, so I'm really grateful that this happened. <laughs> Mallory? Hey, hope you're enjoying these family sketches. Yes, and guess what? There's time to watch more family sketches. Family isn't it about time. I'm so sorry. I just seamlessly worked that around. <laughs> Keep watching. Hey, Mom, what is it, sweetie? I'm just working on a school project about family stories, and I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure. Okay. Ah, uh, first question is, how did you and Dad feel the day I was born? Oh, that was a great day. One of the happiest of our lives. Really? Yeah. As soon as we came home from the orphanage with you bundled in our arms. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mom, did you just say orphanage? Oh, it's not what you think. Your father and I were in the Peace Corps at the time, volunteering at an orphanage, and I went into labor and had you there. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Keep going. Well, as soon as we left, we knew we had to treat you as our own. <laughs> okay, wait, that sounds suspicious. Was I not your own? Honey, you're not listening. You didn't let me finish. We had to treat you as our own daughter. <laughs> okay, how does that change anything? Because we thought we were going to have a son. As soon as we got you, we knew we had to change our thinking. <laughs> okay, Mom, you gotta speak a little more straightforwardly. Well, I'm being as straightforward as I know how. Do you want help with your assignment? Yes, I'm sorry. Keep going. Well, as soon as we got home, we immediately decided to thank your previous family. Mom! What? <laughs> I had another family? Sweetie, you need to use your ears. You're not listening. Yes, I am. I am listening to the exact words you're saying. You know we're very religious. We had to thank that family. <laughs> <laughs> OK, just how did you and Dad feel when you brought me home? Oh, well, it's difficult to put into words. You know how Daddy Warbucks feels when he finally gets Annie? When he adopted her? Or when Pharaoh got Moses? Also adopted. Or when nobody got Bruce Wayne? Mother, who may not be my mother. It really sounds like you adopted me. We did. OK, so you admit it. We adopted you into our lives. <laughs> you are so confusing. I don't see why the word adopt has many meanings. Ugh, can we just finish this? I need to reevaluate my life. <laughs> Well, when we took you home, it was, a, it was a hard transition since you didn't share our genes. For the love, Mom! I didn't share your genes? No! <laughs> genes! We're saying the same word! Our genes! Like sisterhood of the traveling pants! <laughs> I didn't share your pants? <laughs> our genes, yes. Ever since your father and I saw that movie, we always wanted to share a magical pair of jeans with our entire family, but you were still too little for them. Okay, Mom, you are seriously freaking me out right now. Am I or am I not adopted? You are! In the, tra in the traditional sense of the word! You're not! Oh, Mom, this almost makes me wish I were adopted. Well, you certainly don't share our jeans. Oh, forget it! Forget it! What? Honey! What? What was that all about? I was trying to find a way to tell her she was adopted. Into our lives? Of course. <laughs> Man, look, this is Grandma. I know, I know. I can't wait to see. Okay. Grandma, Grandma, look what we found. Whoa! Oh, man! 
Why, uh, my old keepsake box. Why, I've saved a hundred memories in this thing. Oh, you know what? Let me record this for posterity. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead and just tell us all about it. Well, all right. Let me see here. Oh, oh my. <laughs> It's an old ticket stub to the drive-in picture show. That was the first date your grandfather and I ever went on. No way. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Oh, and here is the key to our first apartment as a married couple. And, oh, looky here. Our first dollar from the first bank we ever robbed. Say again? Yes, those were the days. We held up every bank west of the Mississippi. Oh. <laughs> your, your grandfather, he, he carried the gun, and I became pretty handy with a switchblade. That switchblade. Oh, oh, now careful, Mallory. Now you remember, a lady is only as good as her stabbing implement. Yes, here, here we go. <laughs> oh, still got it. Well, that was a fun, if not unexpected, story. Uh -huh. Why don't we, uh, why don't we move on? Right. What are these, Grandma? The mug shots. Whoop. Yes, we were cornered down in Mexico, and after three days of fighting and unspeakable carnage, we gave ourselves up. How long were you in prison? Oh, not long. They had to let us go on a technicality. Oh. <laughs> but let me assure you, we were as guilty as they come. That's comforting. Yes, but, but we saw our freedom as a new lease on life. So your grandfather and I decided to start a family. Okay, see, that's a crime, crime family. Okay. Yes, we ran the whole east side of Chicago, and we trafficked all kinds of illegal goods. And the things we had to do to stay in power, oh, let, let me tell you, oh, there, there was this one time I had a snitch tied up in the basement. Okay, Grandma, uh, why don't we skip ahead to the part where you and Grandpa completely changed and became good law-abiding citizens? Oh, oh well... It all became too much for us. All the violence and all the blackmail and all the severed horse heads that we put in people's beds. It gets messy. So we went straight, as they say, after just a few short decades. We we're so proud of you. Yes, your grandfather, he became a school teacher and I sold pies out of the house. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's not as exciting uh, as... No, 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 Grandma. See, that's super sweet yeah. and picturesque. Actually, when you tell people your history, you really should just jump to that part, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, oh, thank you, dears. Mm -hmm. this, this has been quite a day. It has. Yes, I'm feeling kind of tuckered out. I think I might go and take a nap. But would you see that my switchblade gets put back in the box? Yes, yeah. I will do that. And mm -hmm. I'll make sure this stuff gets put somewhere safe and very deep. Sweet girl. Sweet girl, Mallory. Let us know if you need anything. Oh, we'll... yeah. Maybe some uh, moto meal. Okay. Godmother? Don Capistrani. I've brought you the cash for the goods. Yeah, I brought you the goods for the cash. Grandma. I'm just slowly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with that boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, give my love to your family, Don. Uh, sure will. Thanks, Godmother. You're the best. Oh, what? Uh. Sweet boy. Yes. Buena noche. <laughs> Affectionate nickname for husband asked in a question? Distracted affirmative answer. Question about whether or not you completed a mundane task? Distracted affirmative answer. Sigh. Follow-up question about a small detail of the task to prove that you actually completed the task? Sudden realization of what you are talking about. <laughs> Quick excuse about the small detail to hide that I was both not paying attention and did not do what you wanted. <laughs> Accusing response. Defensive answer. Listing the times you behaved this way before. Weak excuse. <laughs> Explanation of all I do for you in a 24-hour period. Explanation of all I do for you in a 24-hour period. Pausing moment where I realize I don't actually do that much. <laughs> Escalating tone as I state my disbelief that you did not complete the simple task from earlier. Raising my voice as I repeat my lame excuse for not doing it. 
telling you not to raise your voice while raising mine as well. Calling for maternal parents. Ignoring my female offspring and explaining how nagging you always are. <laughs> Equally ignoring her as I gasp in disbelief. Yelling for paternal parents. Continuing to ignore her and bringing up the fight from the summer of 2002 where it was decided that you were actually the one to blame. <laughs> Smugly inquiring, if you recall said event. Reluctant acknowledgement. Sports reference, confirmation of points received. <laughs> Frustrated grunts followed by a statement about your brain capacity. Accidental agreement. <laughs> Parental guardians. Frustrated, Frustrated and questioning, questioning response. response. Asking for permission to do something you've already responded negatively to. Exasperated repetition of daughter's name. Focusing my pleading on my paternal parent and changing my physical appearance to remind him of when I was a little girl. Starting to side with my daughter. Negative response, restating my disapproval from earlier. Statement about how differently I will treat my own children someday that will never actually be realized. <laughs> Disbelief that you would take her side of the argument over mine. Statement of finality explaining I will not continue this discourse. Indifferent response. Beginning my brisk and dramatic exit. Request to stop exiting. <laughs> Question about dinner? Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming here tonight. Paul and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Michelle and I gathered you all here because we have a very big announcement. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys are getting a divorce, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, why would we be smiling if we're getting a divorce? <laughs> well, you complain about Paul a lot, so I just, <laughs> I figured you'd, you thought this was good news. No, okay. <laughs> you complain about me to my mom? No. I don't? I mean, what, what could I possibly complain about? His hair, his job. Rhetorical question, Janice. <laughs> so, um, if you guys aren't getting a divorce, what's the announcement? Well, Michelle oh, and I are... You're going to jail. <laughs> for, for embezzlement? Is it... Oh, no. You murdered someone. Troy. You wouldn't. Troy. You killed... You killed the president? Troy! <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I, I just wanted to guess before you told us. And you guessed assassination? I don't know, you're always talking about how you want to kill Paul. Okay. <laughs> how many people do you talk to about me? No. See, I knew you guys were gonna get divorced! No one is getting a divorce, Mom, or going to jail, for any reason. Uh, guys, he's right. Because we're gonna have the best attorneys in the business, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know, they can get Paul for perjury. He's been lying since he was a kid. What? You mean when I was four and said that the dog drew on the wall? <gasps> See, Mom, he admitted it. I've been telling my friends for years that our dog could draw. I look like a fool! Okay, <laughs> calm down, okay? Paul doesn't lie. Right, Paul? Lie, son. Lie. <laughs> one screw up away from getting a divorce. Come on! We brought you here for a happy reason. <gasps> You're getting married. Oh! oh. Uh, we got married five oh. years ago. You were all that you officiated. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I was licensed at the time. What? Are you saying we might not be married? Oh, good, then you won't need a divorce. <laughs> no, 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 wait, no, I can marry you anywhere because I'm a boat captain. You own a canoe. Yeah, a canoe boat. Oh, I can't believe this. Okay, guys, please, just stay with us, all right? This is supposed to be a special moment for us, so please stop shouting out you all You're moving your... to France? Is someone dying? Ooh, gambling addiction. You're getting married for real this time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, since we're all just sitting around, we actually have some news. We're expecting! Oh, <laughs> We should probably get married again, just to be sure. Yeah. Okay. I knew, I was like... <laughs> Okay, honey, here you go. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to exchange presents till tomorrow. I couldn't wait. Well, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Are you serious? Yes. This isn't a joke? Nope. Are you happy? No. What? I want to go to Africa. You, you want to go to Africa? Okay, well, no, not really, but now I can't, not with a kid. So, what, you don't want kids? No. Aha! Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I knew you didn't want kids. Every time we talked about it, you were always like, oh, kids, oh, oh, whatever you like, oh, let's watch Lost on Netflix, but aha! Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh yourself! Don't aha uh -huh me! I knew you wanted kids, miss. Oh, I don't know if I want kids, <laughs> and also, I watch Lost without you, and then I rewatch it just to humor you. Aha! Uh -huh. What? So you did know that I wanted kids, and that I already know the ending of Lost. Aha! I knew you knew I knew you wanted kids, and I don't. Well, let me tell you something you don't know. No, oh, it better not be the ending of Lost. I'm not pregnant! Uh, what? Uh, huh? <laughs> you, you faked a pregnancy test? I was really excited. <laughs> Yes, the, the world needs more versions of me running around. Honey, I'm so sorry. I don't want kids. Ah! 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 I don't know. I'm so lost. You want to watch Lost? Yes, you want to have kids? Yes, you? Yes. Oh, now I wish I were pregnant. You are. What? I took your blood while you were sleeping. What? <laughs> Communicate better. Let's let, let's finish lots first. Okay. <laughs> Almost done. It's beautiful. Wow, this nursery is really coming together. Yeah. Now all we need is a little baby to put in it. Oh, you're gonna be such a good dad. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be so loving and fun. I can just imagine you coming home from work and popping your head in the kids' room while they play with their friends from school. Oh, they're gonna have lots of friends. Yeah, and then you'll make one of those dad jokes and say, better not be having too much fun in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll roll their eyes and they'll say, dad, you're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be such a great mom. And then I'll come in and say, don't you talk to your father that way. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're gonna be the funny one. You're and then they'll say, joke. Dad was making a dumb joke. And I'll say, did I teach you disrespect? <laughs> funny. And then you'll say, relax, they're just being kids. And I'll say, what do you know? You're gone half the day in a dead end job. This is getting hurtful. And then you'll say, I put bread on the table. Do I talk like that? And then I'll say, doesn't matter because little Henry is gluten intolerant. <laughs> Why would you curse our son with that? And then there's a knock on the window and lo and behold, it's our nosy neighbor, Mrs. Albright. Who? And then she'll say, getting a little noisy again, neighbors. And I'll say, don't even start, Cheryl, because I have two mortgages, hits that won't stop growing, and don't think I've forgotten about our bidding war for that black market Hungarian baby! <laughs> Have you been watching Lifetime movies again? I thought I could handle it. <laughs> uh, Amanda and I just want to thank you all for braving the snow to come celebrate our wedding today. <laughs> Cut the cake! Oh. Cut, Cut the cake! cake. Cut, Cut the cake! cake. <laughs> Cut the cake! Here we go. Just... Yay! <laughs> Sweetheart, did you remember to get a sugar-free cake, too? Oh, the bakery didn't make sugar-free cakes. Well, why would you do that? Well, I didn't think it'd be a big deal. He's a full-grown man. He hasn't had sugar for years. You know nothing! Wait! Don't eat the cake, Kyle! <laughs> What's wrong, babe? What have I done? Like pay two mortgages, work at a law firm, raise our family of six, and be a spider Take the light! Oh! 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 Kyle! Where did 
you get that hat? I thought we burned it years ago. That was a decoy. I keep the real one in my sock. Oh. I propose a toast. Where does the term toast come from? Should we all be raising slices of bread? How do you drink toast? If I could liquefy toast and drink it, I would say to the end of forever. It's actually a really nice toast. Hi, we have to do something. Where's the getaway car? We have a horse drawn sleigh. Even better, when the horses break down, we can use them as alternative sources of food. Oh, oh, I'm a it's time for the first dance. Oh. oh. Honey, we need to do something. I hate it. I'm sorry. It's just this is the only time they'll have a first dance. Stay focused. Okay. Oh. Kyle, don't you dare like that ice sculpture. Kyle? Kyle? No! Ah! Kyle, it's your wedding day, man. You have a PhD. <laughs> ah! My taste buds are gone. Oh, ice. Ah! Oh, what dark magic is this? Oh. Never-ending chocolate. Kyle, no! It's too much. You may never come back. My life has led me to this moment! Kyle! Not to bomb you, Kyle! I feel so alive! Merry Christmas to all! And to all Reese's Pieces! Maybe Kyle and I would be better off adopting. Kyle was adopted. I was? <laughs> cool, now I have two moms. <laughs> hey, Matt, party's going pretty good. Are you kidding me? It's my first guy-girl party and no one's even talking to each other. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Aubrey Parker's having a party and she's like, cool. Did someone say cool? Hey kids, we brought you some popular hip hop music. Cause we're the cool parents. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Dad, what are you wearing? We went to the mall. The girl who helped us had a nose ring. What? Why are you here? We heard your party wasn't going very well and we came to help. What, where did you hear that? Home Slice Mr. Allred here posted it on his Twitter wall. Hashtag not a cool party. Hashtag this guy. Hashtag why does their house smell so weird? Can they not find their cat? <laughs> the hashtag is a pound sign. <laughs> woof woof. Please just go upstairs. Not before we participate in some Snapchatting. Yeah. That's not what that means. Hey kid, how's it going? Hey, did you hear Beyonce's with Jay's and they have a blue baby? And Jimmy Fallon's eyebrows are on fleas. Oh, hon, you're so on the point. Cool parents. <gasps> whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, will you take a picture of us for our instant gram? Uh, sure. Let's make a duck face. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Mm. 7.52. What? It's the official time of death of my social life. <laughs> Nailed it, hon. Thanks, babe. Let's post it to my picture feed. Oh, look at all the hearts I'm getting. Woo! Mom, that's not a picture of you. That's my before picture for P90X. Oh, my bad, Holmes. I look so weak. Are you sure that's your before pic? Okay. <laughs> please, please just go. But, but we know all the latest celebrities. Rahana. Jonathan Depp. Cud dollar sign, ha. Huh? Kesha? And Mr. Ryan Gosling. Hey, girl person. I know that, Mimi. Cool parents! <laughs> whoop, whoop! Okay, <laughs> kids, let's get some dancing yeah. going. I got the moves like Mr. McJagger. Now watch a whip. Whoops. Now watch a nene. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mom, Dad, that's enough. You're making this party lame. Lame? But where the... Cool parents? Whoop, whoop. No! <laughs> no whoops. All right, you are not even remotely cool parents. <laughs> All right. Hurtful. But if you, if you want us to go, then we'll go. Thank you. To Aubrey Parker's party. Who's with us? We'll buy ice cream! Whoop, whoop! <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mrs. B, do the name. Okay, good job, Mom. I'm just gonna take her for a second and get her cleaned up, and uh, we'll be right back. Congrats, you guys. Thanks. 
can't believe we're parents. I know, she's ours. We get to keep her. Yeah, and okay, can you imagine how cute it would be if her and the boy across the street got together one day? I mean, he's only six months older. It'd be perfect. Oh, my goodness. What if they got married? It'll end in divorce. <laughs> Mom, why would you say a thing like that? I know you're excited planning her future right now, but you need to be ready for reality, sweetheart. Carla, we invited you here for support. Yeah. John, the reality is that that baby's divorce is inevitable. <laughs> the neighbor boy will stray. Okay, what? he's six months old. Yeah, and we just had our daughter 30 seconds ago. Let us have this. Oh, she could be a doctor or an astronaut. A sad oh, she... trailer park lady. No. <laughs> A mother of three at 18. That is not what she A schizophrenic will... hobo who makes dolls out of her own teeth. <laughs> Sweetie, you need to be ready for the world. I know I raised seven children. Carla, please. Listen, right now she's a sweet little baby, but soon she'll be in elementary school. And she'll be sweet then too. I can just see her running around the playground, chasing little boys. Yeah, and, yeah, and, doing... and when she throws a rock at one of them, one of them, the retina will detach, and he'll never see a playground again. <laughs> Let's focus on the positive, please. You're right. I've been too harsh. I'm sure she'll turn out fine. After her teenage years, and her 20s, and her 30s, and most of her 40s. Okay. <laughs> she'll end up in lady prison. <laughs> Grandma, did I invite you here? You did. No, I didn't. OK. What are you doing here? So not until your babies get to their middle ages like your mother here that they really start snapping. Whatever's lurking in that little baby's just waiting to come out, and when she turns 50, bam! She's a killer clown. <laughs> Flying elephants up into her hot air balloon and dropping it on unsuspecting wheelchair kids. Oh, Mom, you're senile. That is correct. Oh. That reminds me, you better start putting anti-aging cream on that baby right now, because if she's anything like your grandma, she's gonna age like a prune in a corpse's purse. Oh. Yeah, it's true, I'm 42. You're 89. Mom, you are 89. Don't talk back to me! She talked back to you! <laughs> You're evil, just like your dumb baby's gonna be. Okay, <laughs> listen, she's a baby. She has a world of potential, good and bad. Yeah. But we're good people. I'm talking about me and John here, not you two creepos. <laughs> so chances are she'll be a good person too. Right. You're right, we're sorry. Okay, quick update for you, Mom and ba Dad. It turns out your baby's a horrible person. She bit off my finger. <laughs> I am pressing charges. Hope she enjoys lady prison. My mother's in prison. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm taking this baby and going on the run. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I can't believe it. You watched the whole thing. Whole thing. Be sure to subscribe and comment on this video and um, like our page. Yeah, you could comment something like, I don't know, family. <sighs> Isn't it about time? <laughs> you don't have to comment that. Comment whatever you but want. But you should. Or hashtag it. Let's make this a thing. Let's make it trend. Hashtag. Family. Isn't it about time? I don't, see that's. It's gonna trend. <laughs>